I just got it in and what you know it only took one try. So um, there it is right there. Not sure if you can see it and not sure if this will help you see it. But that's it right there. And now this is a tricky part because if you're not careful and you hit it too hard or you keep touching it, it will pop out again. So lightly set your gun back on the table. Then take your barrel assembly. And here's a quick tip. To put this in better so that it doesn't bump anything, take the bolt handle and raise it up. Like that. Okay? Then you're going to gently, as gently as possible, set it down in there. And once it gets to this position, you're just going to snap it closed, put the bolt down, rotate it to the point where it was before, put in your screws, like so. And once the screws are in, I will show you how, it's, how well it, or see if it worked or not. And this is always, and just a little thing, if you want to know how to fully disassemble any part of the gun, barrel, um, trigger mech, um, anything, just post a comment or check out my videos because I have posted a disassembly review for this gun, which basically just took apart the trigger mech and all the housings of that. And a quick update, not sure if I've told you guys this, but I have put in new Polar Star Sears and a tight bore, or Airsoft GI 6.03 millimeter tight bore inner barrel. And I do not suggest either upgrades for you if you buy this gun. Reason being, one, I might have just gotten a faulty piece, but the sears aren't working. Um, and I, that might not even be the problem, but from my understanding it is, and they don't work. So basically when I pull the bolt back, like that, it doesn't stay. So that's my problem. And then the barrel, it's an okay barrel, but it really doesn't raise the accuracy that much. Now, if I were to put in a better bucking, it might help a little bit more for air seal, but for right now, it really doesn't do anything. Um, I would suggest, though, getting an edgy barrel, because I have heard a lot of good reviews on that. And buckings, I'd probably go for either a 9-ball or a Firefly, hard-type bucking. But, okay, now, once you've installed that like that, and put the screws back in, take your magazine, and put it in. Usually helps to put it in right. Oh, and sometimes this will happen, like it did to me. This, the button will get stuck or jammed, or it just won't want to work. And yep, that's the problem. So then, what you're going to have to do again is take it apart. There goes my spring. Sorry guys, this video might be a little lengthy because of this, but um, you're going to have to take it back apart. Make sure that it wasn't because your screws were too tight. And then once you get down, I'll show you what to do. This does happen quite a few times if you're not careful. Sometimes you can just jostle it around a little bit and it'll... There we go. Okay. So basically all you had to do was loosen, in this case, all you had to do was loosen the screws and then jostle the little notch around a little bit and keep pressing down and it should work fine. So what I'm going to do now is just tighten these screws back up and try to get these screws as tight as possible but not so that it's breaking the sock or anything. Just make sure that it's tight and there's no loose parts. Okay. Now, sorry for that. Once again, all you're going to do is put the magazine in, like that, push down on it. Okay, let's try that again. Make sure it clicks. There you go. That's how you do it. Then just press the button in, pull it out, and you're good to go. Now, and if you have any more questions or comments, just please feel free to PM me or put a comment in the comment section, and I will do my absolute best to make sure that I answer those. Um, that was the video explanation on how to put in the mag catch of the JG Bar 10. Thank you.